single long belt. All right, what's up, everybody? Hope everybody's been well and having some good experiences in this old world. Let's uh, let's jump into this little game that we got. Uh, we're trying out. Uh, it sort of reminds me. Is there a lot on here? Oh, they are actually. It reminds me of Factorio, but obviously we're in a uh, third person here. Uh, and Satisfactory. A little bit of Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's automating stuff to build plates, rods. Uh, power and our ship up there, as you can see right there, it's supposed to be like damaged or something. So we come to this alien planet to uh, get it up and running or something like that. That's what they want us to. Do. Uh, so they want us to build four smelters. Let's go back over here. So I'm just going through the tutorial here, guys. Uh, now, does it tell you to actually... Uh, build one over here on this stuff here, yeah? But, uh, obviously we build a, a, a miner, a smelter some power for biofuel and stuff like that just get from trees and stuff like that right uh the platform has to be attached to the other one that way all of it that's how your power runs through that right sort of like uh space engineers if you haven't played space engineers uh like all the platform anything on that platform will be powered uh if that's not connected to that it won't be powered right so let's grab this uh do you need any more in there so right now we're just manually <laughs> putting stuff in it uh you start out with these guys here and getting them to actually yeah yeah, and then you can move up to these, right? So let's get a loader. This is how you load materials into one thing into another, right? Just like, I guess we can separate it one. Uh, we can see the ores. Pop one there, one there, one there. And you can see the smelter grabbing it, or the loader grabbing it off the belt. Kind of arrows putting that way. Intake, and that's outputting it, and that's intaking it into our smelter. And that's making our rods, as you can see. That's pretty cool. So they want us to keep going with this. Let's, uh,. One, two, three, four. Cool, man. Cool. Looks pretty good. We'll let that build up real quick. Keep the panel on this side. Pop one there. Do a couple more uh, loaders. Three down. All right, these are our building blocks. Uh, so I'm learning on the job here, guys. First time me, first time you. <laughs> uh, Lock. We we have played Factorio. We have played uh, Satisfactory. We have played Minecraft. Uh, it's getting a feel of Factorio. Sort of satisfactory. So 
so that's the feel I'm getting from it right now. Uh, I kind of like it, to be honest. I, I, I like the way they, uh, I like the texture. I like it's sort of cartoonish and stuff like that. That's cool, man. It doesn't have all these graphics that just eat your uh, graphics card and your CPU up. The game is running quite easily. So, can I take you? Yeah, I can. Cool. Take you. Nice. Uh, now we got two, two going on that. We will pop another one over here as well, I think. Even though it hasn't told us to do it. We have completed our initial mission of setting up a smelting facility. We've done a great job, haven't we? At this point, we should have received we have. further instructions. Carl? But something's blocking <laughs> our communications. I think we'll have to improvise. My archives contain a blueprint for a research server. Improvise, eh? Through material analysis, I should be able to provide an emergency beacon blueprint. Let's get going and build a research server. Perhaps a uh, research server that we definitely need a research server. Let's get a couple more over here on this iron now. Before we get too crazy, uh, let's pop that on there. We like going off the beaten path of what it's trying to tell us to do now and then, you know? So there's a sense of freedom, right? <laughs> nice, man. All right, so smelter, loaders, belts pretty pretty easy man i think i think we can get this from the start anyway give us some plates man thank you very much three four we'll just pop four a little extra upper loaders up get a belt there boom Jump off, man. Uh, spin around, belt. Nice, man. Nice. But you get to hang out of controllers, too. You guys going in? Going in. How many do we got over there? Three? We do have three. Three, three. Right there. Cool, man. So, uh, get a couple more smelters up and running. Load some more of them up. Look, this is where we get our uh, power from right now. Yeah, so all good, man. Well, not power, you know, we, we get all of our plates, we get all of our uh, materials. Obviously, we could just go and grab them manually for now, but I'm assuming we'll put another one on the back of this, and that will be intake outtake. Group. That way, it will shoot all of our plates out the back, run them down a conveyor, put them in a the storage for us, all that good stuff, right? Or. That's what I hope it does. That's Factorio. Yeah. Uh, let's spin you around. Oh, wrong light. Pop that there. Oh, you don't have to jump every time I say. I try to, I think I have to jump, but it actually, uh, It actually just uh, gets you to go up. I'll keep hitting the wrong one. That one. Cool, cool. So, research, eh? Where's the research thing at? This is smelter. It'd be in science then, right? Yeah. Alright, plates. Got some more plates. See? 
If you have a few of them, you just grab them, no problem. <laughs> then we just pop over here, do the same thing. We won't make as many uh, pops uh, because it looks like we need uh, plates more than anything. All right, let's try to craft research. Should we do two? Let's do two. <clears throat> and where do we want to put this? I guess we could just... It doesn't really matter right now, does it? Really? Oh, this ain't going to be like, you know, this is just our starter area, really. Whoa. Oh, it's there. Right? Yeah, yeah, cool. Well, okay. Uh, pop it there for now. To advance in research, it's cool. I'm just getting it going. Build science packs. Craft a few by hand and insert them into the research server to research the emergency beacon blueprint. We can do that. Just kick all of them on them. <clears throat> Put it on the wrong side, dude. Dang it. That's all right. There you go, man. We can remove this. We just hit Elf, demolish it, remove it where we want it. So all good, man. All good. Grab that. Grab these plates. They're really stacking up on us. Nice, man. Nice. And he wants us to do some research here. Emergency beacon. We got our emergency beacon up and running. Load that. We got two. It's pretty slow. Look how nothing's crafting slow as crap. Guys doing okay? Nice, man. Pumping them out. Pumping them out. I don't know how many smelters actually uh, can take a line of this. It looks like it's actually eating it up pretty easy right now, that's for sure. Got it. Uh -oh. Let's we put another one here. Beacon blueprint. Craft it and place it, but not too close to your existing machines. Those rescue parties tend to land right on top of the beacons. Oh, really? Okay. We don't want to destroy our crowd. All right, thanks, Carl. Let's, uh, let's crowd the rescue bacon. Yeah. We'll stop this for now and let it do that. Rescue beacon, pop it there. Uh, land right on top of it, huh? Hmm. Can you land? Oh, it's blocking it. How about there then? Call for help. Oh, okay. Great. Now you might want to take a step back and look up. <laughs> a real groundbreaking. Okay. This corporate command companion. That left a hot seafood. Hey, dude, what are you doing in there? <laughs> will help us establish a connection with Mission Command. First, 
Let's help him out of that drop pod by deconstructing and placing it in a safe location. Deconstruction. Okay, we'll demolish it. Is that what they're saying? Tab for another one? Cool. Uh, how we get it back? Yeah, yeah, we got it back right. <laughs> Say, oops. I have to try that again. Uh, we don't have a lot of room, so. I like that tab. I wish they'd give me more than three, but that's cool. Yeah. At least we get a few, huh? I'm gonna need a lot of these blocks, man, to make these platforms up. Right? Tab one. Pretty nice. I don't know how much room we need. A loader, a belt. Oh, this ain't gonna stay here anyway. Like, it's not gonna stay here. What's this Welcome puppet right here? Hey, dude. Baby. We have activated <laughs> this emergency beacon because we are having trouble communicating with Mission Command. Okay, you can be our pet. Right. Critical damage on the Mission Command space station, you say? Spontaneous explosive disassembly. That's extremely troubling. What now? Are we trapped here? Hmm. That aligns with our disaster <laughs> contingency protocol. C3BB, initiate a thorough analysis of the incident. We'll integrate your extended blueprint archive with our research servers and construct a self-sufficient manufacturing facility capable of providing emergency aid. Okay, so we gotta make a factory to and supply emergency aid to our ship. All right. <laughs> uh, can't wait until we automize uh, the power. It's not too bad, though. It's not. Uh, yeah. All right. We all lit up for the. You're right. Assembler, that's, we definitely need assembler, huh? I'm glad you have the blueprint stored. Let's go ahead and research the assembler. Absolutely. That way, that will start making us research packs and all that good stuff, bro. There it is right there, man. I mean, we need five. Don't think... Oh, we need one more. <laughs> Okay, we'll just eat that up. All right, guys. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this, guys. Uh, I know it's a slow start. Uh, we're just going through this tutorial. We have a... Uh, just start building freely yet. Uh, I'm sure that will come sooner than later once we get our automation going we'll get our uh, assembly up and running we'll try to lay out uh, some smelters try to get our lines up and going uh, we'll see how much this is gonna take obviously we're gonna need more drones to mine and all that good stuff uh to fill our belts up we'll get there we'll get there uh day one man day one yeah uh, if he uh if he played the game um if he uh got any tips for me more appreciate it um uh, if you guys want to see more just uh pop a lock on the video if you haven't subscribed yet consider not subscribing and um, until the next episode, 
See ya.